This is the Acer Aspire 1 D250 1325, the red one that they sell or used to sell at Sam's Club. It has the same sort of specs that you'd find in most other netbooks. But easy uh, upgrade path. You got the uh, hard drive lid right here, a uh, spot for memory here, and an empty mini PCI Express slot. And I had a few spare parts lying around, so uh, do going to do some upgrades. All you really need for this is precision Phillips. So let's get everything unbuttoned. Alright, the first thing we'll do is the memory, because that's the easiest. It comes with uh, one gig standard, and we're going to upgrade to two. Standard notebook memory and clips, just move them out a little bit. Pops up. Pull out the old one. Put in the new one. Press down gently, and that's it. The next thing we're going to do is add some hardware video acceleration. This is the Broadcom, Broadcom Crystal HD hardware video acceleration. Uh, I found this at Logic Supply for $40, and as I'm filming this, the prices have really gone up. Uh, I think they're 50 or 60 now, and at eBay, they're selling for as much as $100 or more. Anyway, there's no clips in this mini PCI Express slot. You just slide it in gently, press it down, and you have to screw it down into, uh, into into the receptacle on the motherboard. This one didn't come with screws, OEM. And I had to cannibalize one of the uh, lid screws on the uh, hard drive lid. It works. I think they're M2 screws. I'm not sure though. I have to find out exactly uh, before I uh, get replacements. Okay, let's give it a test run. This is a 720p demo file from the Microsoft site. They're playing in uh, Media Player Classic Home Cinema Edition. I think it's a little silly to chase after HD on a screen like this, but what I really wanted to do was take some of the load off the processor play smoothly. Uh, I'm not going to show you the before version, but it, uh, it stalled, sputtered, sometimes froze. So this is a much, uh, much appreciated improvement. And I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it's using between 20 and 40 percent of the CPU. So much better success oh, one more thing um, I've seen on some of the forums where people are can't get to uh, they don't know if the Broadcom decoder is being recognized and used what you do is go up here to play And then check under filters. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Broadcom Video Decoder. In the um, in the latest release, some people can't see that, uh, but if you use uh, one of the betas, and they make they release betas almost daily builds, you can uh, you can find the Broadcom card listed.
The last thing we're going to do is replace, upgrade the uh, platter hard drive in the netbook with solid state drive from Kingston. It came with a, uh, it's a bundle, it includes a, a little cloning kit. So, should be pretty easy. There's, uh, I won't go through the whole thing, there's a video and a PDF you can download from the Kingston site that uh, details the whole process. So we'll just take the screws off and remove this thing, remove the cage. and start the process. USB CD-ROM starting a Cronus loaner. Okay, everything's finished. The cloning operation took about 15 minutes. This is a uh, 1080p, another demo file from the Microsoft site. This is an earlier first generation of SSD. It doesn't support the trim command, but performance isn't really what I was after. Uh, I just need something a little more sturdy, a little more durable. I'm going to take this on the train with me and catch up on my videos. And that's it for this upgrade.